Hey guys, this is update two of the farm cart. Me and Dom in the shop. Hey guys. So we're drilling the um, swinging arm flat steel parts for the uh, farm cart now. See, we've got some uh, 12 inch pieces and some 13 inch pieces. These will overlap and they'll have uh, two inches of the overlap and the whole rod will be drilled one inch in so it's centre and the same on the other piece. So Dom's just going to start drilling the first one now. So, uh, yeah. That's the first hole done, but uh, I'm going to bore in here to death. We'll drill the other ones and we'll see you as soon as we drill them. So, see you in a bit. Great, why are you filming them? Hey guys, back again. Now, uh, we'll just drill this last hole quickly. Just, just for the crack, really. This won't take long. Get it as far back as you can. Alright, is that right? And that's it. Hey guys, um, part of update two, we just got a finished product here of the swinging arms. We got one of them here, as you can see, yes, the swing. And that would, just, that would attach on some angle iron. And um, Ember's just finished just chopping down the bolt. And attaching the angle iron just allows the like part of it to swing. It's basically working the suspension. And we're going to buy some shop, shops. Uh, I'd recommend the site BMI cart because um, you have a clearance section. Ten pounds per shock. Spring. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. About seven pounds. And uh, yeah, so uh, get back to you soon. Bye. guys you, you've seen that um and we'll just give you like a talk through no point in starting it we'll just give you a talk through of what well what we're doing basically i'll let embed speak all right so um basically what we've got here is like something i think this is a seven and three quarter inch pulley um and on the engines probably three and three quarter inch so it's pretty geared down and um, you were probably wondering why the engine was uh, kind of like Stuttering. revving and not revving, revving and not revving. Basically, what it is is the governor. When the governor senses like a uh, something that's, I suppose, if you're mowing the grass, think if you hit a, a dense part of grass, it would, or the governor would pull the throttle back and give it more throttle. So basically, that's what it was doing there. But as soon as you get up to into the high RPMs, it's fine. So. Do you reckon if we disconnect the governor, would that work? Yeah, we could disconnect the governor, but then there's a chance of blowing your engine, obviously, because oh. it goes above the 13, no, sorry, 3600 RPM, max RPMs. But um, you probably, I don't know if you could see much smoke, but we did actually drain the uh, engine from fuel and tip it over. So what that is is a bit of uh, oil getting into the fuel so that'll eventually clear, clear up but you can see here this is the belt that we were using quite an old belt came off I reckon cleaner. I need one with some like yeah. grips on so what, what the timing belt yeah these are the types of things you get on the tar converters and stuff like that might try it again with one of these see how the thing goes but 
So yeah, if you just uh, leave a comment below the description and tell us what you think of this farm cart so far. We'll definitely be updating you soon on stuff. We're going to try and work on this, try and get it done in, well, by the end of the summer really, so by October. So it's going to be a fairly quick project. Um, Alright, so thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to Stallion. He's a new guy on YouTube, so, you know, help him out. And we'll uh, see you later.